I am Anil Kumar. Here is a question which will help you to understand how to calculate the coordinate points on logarithmic function. The question here is, for each of the following logarithmic functions, write the coordinates of the points with y values of minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1 and 2. So we have taken up two logarithmic functions, y equals to log x and y equals to log to the base half of x. We are given the y values. We need to find the x values. Coordinate values will be x, y values, correct? So we are given all the y values. We need to find the x values. So let's make table of values to find the solution, right? Now here, we are given y equals to log x. What is x equals to? x in this case, uh, let me write on the left side itself, x is equals to 10 to the power of y, 10 to the power of y, since log and exponential functions are inverse of one another. If we don't write the base, it is assumed to be 10, right? So we'll write y values here. We are given these y values. So these are minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, and 2. We can calculate the x values by putting them as exponents, right? So, so the first one, when y is minus 2, we get 10 to the power of minus 2, which is 1 over 100, correct? 1 over 100. The other one is 10 to the power of minus 1, which is 1 over 10. Then 10 to the power of 0, which is 1. 10 to the power of 1, which is 10. And then 10 to the power of 2 will give us 100. So these are the y values, right? You need to write them as coordinate points. So let's list them as coordinate points. So that is, you could write this as uh, 0 0.01. So you can write 0 0.01 minus 2. That is 1 over 100. 1 over 10 is 0 0.1 minus 1. And then we have at 0, x value is 1, y is 0, that is the x-intercept. When x is 10, same as the base, y value is 1, when it is 100, y is 2, correct? So that becomes the coordinates. So let me write down coordinates here. So I hope the concept is clear to you. You can now pause the video, answer the question, correct? Here is uh, the quick solution for the second part. So we'll again make same type of thing. X value in this case is what? Base is half. So it is half to the power of Y, correct? And the Y values. Y values are given to us as minus two, minus one, zero, one, and two. So the X values will be half to the power of minus two, right? Half to the power of minus two. Minus will make it reciprocal. So two to the power of two, which is 4, right? Now here we have half to the power of minus 1, that is 2. Half to the power of 0, anything to the power of 0 is 1. Half to the power of 1 is half. And half to the power of 2 will be 1 over 4, correct? And so we get our coordinate points as 4 minus 2, 2 minus 1, 1, 0, half 1 and 1 over 4, 2, correct? Now, as an exercise, what you can do is, using these values, you may sketch their graph, right? So, sketch graph. Right, sketch graph using these values, and you'll need some more, especially you need to understand what happens when x is very large in this case, or when x is approaching zero. That should help you to sketch a good graph. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.